Yo guys, what's up? Corey the Sandman Sandhagen here. Got a new series for you guys, Casuals University, where we're gonna go over in-depth looks at what went wrong post-fight about some of the fights that happened recently. Today, we're doing Bobby Green versus You just tickle me? Shanky. All right, tickle shank. All right guys, so let's get into it. Dawson versus Green, all right? Uh, immediately right off the bat, to be honest with you, it looked a little bit sketchy just the way that Dawson was moving, okay? Dawson was moving in a manner that wasn't, like his footwork wasn't very urgent. The bounce that he had in his step was super casual and super like leisurely, the way that he was moving. It wasn't jerky, it wasn't ready to move in a number of different directions at one time. And the reason is, is because when you are having like a really big bounce, it makes it slow. If you want to be able to move faster, lift your feet off the ground less and you'll be able to move fast, right? Like if I was going to move forward like this and I'm taking high steps like this, that's gonna take me a lot longer to move than if I'm taking really tiny steps, okay? So right off of the bat, Dawson kinda has a little bit of sketchy footwork. My guess would be is that it was his first time in a five round fight. He wanted to have, you know, like more or less a pace that was a little bit slower in round one. He was probably thinking, because most fights go 25 minutes, let me just try to, you know, like pace this thing out a little bit. And that is not good thinking, okay, to be honest with you. it's. Um, uh, like you gotta be ready from bell to bell in a fight regardless, so you have to have pretty urgency immediately right off the bat or you'll get choked out and lose like I did against Aljamain Sterling, okay? So don't do that. So when Dawson's bouncing, already it looks sketchy. It doesn't look like it's super, it has a ton of urgency behind it. That to me was mistake one, okay? Mistake two was Bobby's just like really, really good and with these types of big steps, if uh, you, be, you be Bobby Green, <laughs> Back up a little. <laughs> okay, yeah. So if I'm gonna be like, uh, go lefty, because that's how you knocked him out. If I'm gonna be big bouncer guy, I need to set my feet and then try to throw something. That's why when you see this style of guy where they're like this, they plant and then chuck, that's like a pretty common style. Um, I want to be doing this type of footwork in a range where I don't need a ton of urgency. That means very far out of range. As me and Elias start to get closer, if I'm bouncy like this, like I said, I'm not very fast the more I lift myself up, up off the ground. So if I'm doing this in a range where I need to change directions or drop step or slip or move myself out of the way and I'm taking really big bounces, like really not a good idea. I know it was an accident on Dawson's part, but not good, okay? So he's being bouncy guy. He kind of goes in to throw a punch or something like that. Green is grounded to the floor already almost. Like Bobby Green does such a good job of kind of having a little bit more of a grounded uh, footwork style, boom. And then he'll like drive in real fast, but it's because he's taking really small steps, okay? Dawson's here. He bounces. He bounces on the inside of his foot. Bobby Green fires this left hand bang, hits him, and Dawson pretty much goes out, okay? Uh, Dawson's biggest mistakes were the like really high bounce in a range where you need to have a lot more urgency in the way that you're gonna be able to move, okay? But also, let's give Bobby Green a ton of credit. You be Dawson now. I'll be Bobby Green. Uh, go ready, yep. Um, the way that lefties are capable of throwing this punch super untelegraphed at all is super important, okay? So Bobby didn't load this, he did it with his feet. He just fired it out. I say like when, I, when I'll tell my guys, fire it out like a shotgun. You're not loading this thing, you're not like telegraphing with your elbow. It's literally from here, my punch goes. And it's super fast because it's so tight to my body. If I do stuff like this and then try to punch or I go like this and then try to punch, Elias has a lot of time to react. And even if it's for like 0.01 millisecond, that's still important and it still matters a lot, okay? So Bobby Green's here, he's fighting like Bobby Green. Boom, 
shuffles, bang, and like closes that and hits him super, super hard. Obviously knocks him out. Bobby was super grounded to the floor. Dawson was really bouncy. And usually in that type of interaction, grounded guy typically wins unless bouncy guy can get that guy out of position, which we'll talk about in another video. Hope you guys liked it. Like and subscribe below. Peace. I love you later. Have a good week.